I've been doing a whole series of works recently of burnout paintings. Um, basically using motorbikes, cars to make you know, actual burnouts on this uh, aluminium composite. I'm Andy Coulty, I'm a visual artist from Rockingham in Western Australia. If you know anything about burnouts, you know that it's not something you could replicate with a, with a paintbrush, you know. So the first stage was obviously doing the burnout, so I had a bunch of friends who assist me with that. And then, yeah, I kind of <laughs> see what I can do with it from there. I see it as this thing of like, uh, it's almost like tagging, it's kind of like, it's like this geographical marker and also a historical marker where, you know, someone does a burnout, you know, at the front of the party, you can remember which party it was, you remember what night it was, all the other things, that, you know, it's like all the other things that happened on that night and that burnout will be there for years and you can say, yeah, I remember who did that, I remember what happened. So it's a geographical marker in that sense, but it's also a geographical marker in the sense that if, I, if you go around, the cul-de-sac right out the front here, there's burnouts everywhere, you know, you drive anywhere in Rocco, you're going to find burnouts. But if you go to a posher suburb in Perth, you're not going to see burnouts. So it's also a, like, socio-economic marker, I suppose, as well. It's about growing up in the suburbs, and in particular this suburb. It was kind of my idea to do the burnouts because it was, it was very serendipitous because when I went in to meet with Mark and Scott, they had a cafe racer parked directly where the fridge is going to go. You know what I'm saying? They rotate it, they've always got a motorbike parked there, a different one. So I was like, well, you know, <laughs> why not have a motorbike burnout opposite? We opened Uncle Joe's in 2008 for a cafe and barbershop. We wanted to produce something that was going to invite more people culturally and allow people to do different things. When we originally spoke about the concept with the Red Bull guys, we wanted to not just wrap the fridge in a canvas, we thought we could take it a little bit further uh, and really work with the artist on producing something that is I guess really his aesthetic and then mixing it in with I guess a, a real good collaboration over the two things. I love how the burnout goes onto the fridge and that's something that we spoke about initially and he's really executed that so we're stoked.